You probably already know how to fix a flap. Here are some tips on how to fix a flap better. I'm Chris from Squid Bikes. I'm Donovan Rice, professional skateboarder and also professional idiot. I'm Ivy Audrain, pro tire shredder for Squid Bikes. I am Eric. I'm an ex-mechanic YouTube bicycle vlogger. So when changing a flat or changing a tire, every so often the tire coming off can feel artificially tight. There is a way around this, helping you avoid using tools and remove the tires with just your hands. See how this rim has a lower channel versus the outsides where the tire sits when it's inflated? Get the bead of the tire in there. And once you have the slack, you can see that the bead already wants to come off. You can just push and roll and get that entire side of the tire that you need off. No tools required. First thing when we get a flat, feel the inside of the tire, feel around, try and make sure that there's no like remaining shards of glass or metal poking through the tread to poke the uh, tube. The other thing I like to do is peel the tire all the way off and check out the base tape. Quite frequently, uh, that's like an overlooked area where you might have some base tape and just roll back and the tube is actually like puncturing on uh, the spoke or nipple or just the hole itself. My biggest tip is to run tubeless tires. You won't flat as much, and when you do puncture, you can fix it with a dyno plug. Dyno plugs are super easy to use. Stab the puncture, pull it out, and the dyno plug does the rest. Plenty of life left in this tire. I like to put sealant in my tubes. First off, you're gonna need inner tubes with a removable valve core, like I have here. Oh no, I seem to have a flat. You're gonna get your sealant. Shake it up real good. Get all the little particles mixed up in there. Then you're just gonna add some sealant. You don't need too much. And what that's gonna do, oh, it's gonna get all over the place too, FYI. Sealant will fill in any kind of punctures you might get out on the road. You're gonna wanna make sure your valve core is facing upwards so your sealant seeps down to the bottom. Another great tip is, don't run over glass or sharp objects. Thanks for watching. We hope this helps. And if you've got any of your own tire tips, why don't you, why don't you go ahead and leave them in the comments below.